What's up guys, it is Lakecom here, we are back with yet another trophy video on the channel and today we're gonna be showing you guys how much I actually earn per harvest in doing these gardening stuff and we'll see how much I kind of usually get when I, you know, harvest some stuff when it comes to gardening because I really want to show you guys how much gardening can actually give you. Now I'm going to be showing you a couple of my farms, the first one being in this very world. Now let's head on over into this farm and as you can see a couple of my plants has wilted already but it doesn't matter because we are here to harvest these flowers. So as you can see we have got a couple of these golden soul flowers. This is just one of a couple of my farms so I will show you each and every one of them and after that we're going to calculate how much flux I actually receive from them. and just show you what I actually do usually when it comes to harvest day. So if you didn't already know you'll actually be able to get these little organic refuses so apparently you get four of these organic refuses when it comes to harvesting these plants. It only appears when you actually get the um, alchemy plants I guess and the number of these superior organic refuses will always be at a number of four and of course these golden soul plants will actually give you five per harvest and in my infantry you can actually see that I've got this everlasting watering can now what this actually does is this watering can will never be used up essentially you can use this watering can over and over and over again and you will never run out of it so this can actually be crafted inside the gardening bench for I guess about a hundred thousand flux and a couple of other materials as well like 500 watering cans and whatnot so that is gonna be my first farm and I'm going to show you two of my other farms in which I actually have right here. We're going to head on over into my gardening club, which is going to be Sequoia. Of course, we're going to lose our connection to the server because Trove is being Trove. But essentially, these gardening stuff definitely will bring you a ton of flux. Now, today is going to be harvest day in which will give us an additional amount of stuff, I guess. We're going to get a 20% bonus harvest chance. Now with this 20% of bonus harvest chance, as you can see, I've got a little patch here as well. And we're going to show you a couple of other stuff inside the blue portal. Now we're going to collect each and every one of these golden souls. And as you can see, we are receiving bubble pod plant seeds, which will count towards our flux amount as well. So we're getting a ton of these golden souls. I think I've received quite a number of these golden souls already probably a couple of these plants has doubled their amounts as well but essentially you get the point we're getting so so many golden souls right right off the bat right off the bat today so this is definitely going to be a really really good flux farming method if you didn't already watch the video that I posted about gardening and how you can actually make millions of flux just by gardening then you know feel free to check out that video I will link it in the description below because it is definitely something that you should consider starting on because it is going to be really really profitable I've ranked this above farming geode because this is going to be a better method than actually farming geode and as you can see right here my farm is complete we've got so many of these flowers I might just want to take a picture of this for the thumbnail so now that we've got the thumbnail out of the way now we're gonna type show player okay so let's just harvest each and every one of these as you can see we have got eyes of QB blues here we have got golden soul flowers here we also have got some cinnabar flowers and wow I actually forgot to water these flowers so alright so that is gonna be a huge rip for me I guess but essentially we're gonna be able to harvest each and every one of these plants so here goes we're gonna harvest each and every one and we're gonna see how many or how much of each we'll actually be able to get and we will then calculate how much flux we have earned just from this one single harvest and after we have watered everything so let me just speed this video up a ton and I will get back to you guys
All right, so now that we're done, let's just head on over into some random cursed Skylands world and we'll head on over into our cornerstone and we will see how much we'll actually be able to get just by farming from our cornerstones as well. Since I've got my farm split up into three different parts, that being said, my main club, the gardening club that I have, also known as Sequoia, feel free to do a couple of club quests for the club as well. And of course, this area as you can see right here in my cornerstone. So you're gonna notice I've got quite a bit of plants here as well. We've got the golden souls, we have got a couple of green stones. So let's just take a look right here. I guess I already have got quite a bit of green stone going. So I guess I'll just keep these aside just to take note of how many of these gleam stones I'm getting so they won't actually come into contact with these. So I'll have to remember that I have got three stacks and no more than three stacks as of right now. Gardening is not what you think it is. It's not that boring because the payout is going to be crazy good. It's better than Geode, as I've said in the other video. Now, let me just water these plants, even though they are going to be withering in two days and 23 hours, because this will count towards my harvesting and my watering batch. So I think it should be somewhere around here. Watering plants, yep, it is going to be 9,000 out of 10,000. So we're getting closer and closer to actually getting to 25,000. But essentially, if you don't already have your watering batch completed and if you need the marshery still, feel free to water the plants that are going to wilt in less than 3 days because they are definitely going to help you out farm that batch as well. Since right here we already have got quite a bit of these plants that are going to be dying as you can see withers in 2 days and 2 minutes. So that means it is going to be going to die before we'll actually be able to harvest it, which is a bit sad but the thing I want to tell you guys about farming and harvesting and you know getting your harvest ready is be sure to use the golden watering can as I've said in the earlier video it will allow you to save on your harvest times so basically you don't actually have to wait and water them more than one or two times just plop them down just use a golden watering can and they'll actually be able to be harvested the next three day cycle appears now with that out of the way, let's take a look and see how much do we actually have in our inventory right now. We started this with zero cinnabars, with zero golden souls, with uh, a little bit of gleam stones and zero eyes of QB flues. Let's take a look and see how much we actually have as of right now. So we started off with zero primordial flames as well, so we now have 1350 primordial flames accompanied with 10,710 cinnabar and a whopping 1,755 golden souls, not to mention the crazy amount of 60,750 eyes of QB flues. And let's take a look and see how much do we actually have right now. As you can see, we have got 9,500, 9,500, 9,500. We've got four stacks of 9,500s and another stack of 2.5k. Don't think there's anything else. So let's take a look and let's calculate based off of these numbers that we have as of right now. So we're going to start off with the Primordial Flames. As you can see, I do not have anything going right now because I was heavily dependent on this gathering day. So of course, we'll take a look. Primordial Flame now about 36 Lux. So if we go by the current market prices, this is going to end up at 50,000 Flux. Just like that, 9,999 Cinnabars are about 30 Flux each. So we'll estimate this to be at about 300,000. So that puts us at about 350,000 Flux earned so far just from this one single harvest. Now let's take a look at the Golden Souls. The Golden Souls are going to be 800 Flux as of right now. However, I believe that these Golden Souls will increase true time because they will actually be worth quite a bit now this is gonna be 800 there are gonna be like I guess a couple of 800s but the usual prices are gonna be about 870 so I guess we will average this price out to be at about 870 each and if we do that will put us at 1.5 million flux 1.5 million flux just buy this 1.5 million flux let's just list this on the market right now if you want to buy it just feel free to buy it when the video comes out but probably will sell before then let's just put a stack of cinnabars i'm not going to sell my cinnabars but essentially these primordial flames and these cinnabars will be worth 350,000 flux 
I'm not going to be selling them right now because in the end of the day, I will need the Cinnabars for beacons and these Primordial Flames to actually get those bombs. So I'm not going to be getting those out of the way as of right now. Let's take a look at how much these Eyes of QB Thews will actually sell for. About 3.9 Flux each, I guess. So if we were to price this at 3.9999, I guess. So we'll take that as the amount that we could probably put. And it will be at about 4 Flux each. So let's just list let's just list all of these for I guess 3999 that will be giving us I guess about 240,000 flux. So let's see, 240,000 flux plus 350,000 flux that puts us at about 590,000 plus the golden souls as you can see right now 1.52 million. So that will put us at about I guess 2. 1, 2.1 or so million flux just by gardening mind you just by gardening you didn't see me actually do anything else and I also forgot to add in the glean stones although the glean stones are going to be on the low as of right now and a burning question that you might have as of right now what will be the best item to farm for you know to farm to gather and to plant when it comes to gardening well, there is going to be a spreadsheet. I will link it down in the description yet again once more. So feel free to check out the link in the descriptions because those are going to be specific infos that you will want to take note of. Of course, we're going to list these gleam stones. So they are going to be about, I guess, we're going to set them about 30,000. I don't really need these gleam stones. So we're just going to set them at 30,000 each. So essentially you get how I actually farm my flux, it's just by mostly gardening as of this point. So oops, I did go a little bit overboard there. So this is going to be 30,000 and this will be I guess 3.2, we're going to do this and we're going to take a zero off. So there we go, 30,000, 30,000, so that's going to be 120k plus that 8,000, so that is going to be 128k. So the total will be about 2.3 million plus minus because the prices will change in the near future. But that that is my point. 2.3 million flux in just in the span of, let's say, I don't even know how long this video has been, but just in the span of a short while. This is going to be my point. You'll actually be able to get a ton of flux. Doesn't matter what you do. Be sure to get stuff like golden soul flowers. You can get stuff like gleamstone. Although gleamstone isn't gonna be that high at right at this point of time, but feel free to check out the spreadsheet down below because it is definitely gonna help you out a ton. We literally just earned, I guess, about two million flux just by doing nothing. We sat around, we harvested a couple of plants. We just planted and watered a couple more and just look where we are sitting right now. We're sitting at an additional 2 million flux without actually doing anything. However, of course, you'll definitely have to take a look and farm for your moonlight bulbs when it comes to planting these, these gardening stuff, I guess, these gleam stones, these golden soul flowers. All of these will actually require moonlight bulbs. So I probably might make a moonlight bulb guide if you guys really want that to happen. So feel free to leave a like on this video if you want me to make a Moonlight Bulb farming guide, which places is the best to farm Moonlight Bulbs, the most efficient way, and the tips that I would like to give you guys when farming these kinds of stuff. So I guess that's going to be all about this video. Essentially, 2.3 million flux easily earned in the span of, I guess, 10 to 20 minutes because we kind of sped up a bit of this video already. So you get my point. Easy flux, gardening, get into it right now but before you get into gardening feel free to make some market research and just check out a couple of the links in the description because we talk about how you can actually profit off gardening with the chart down below made by turbo chaos yet again i'm going to link that again and of course check out the video on the channel because that is definitely going to help you out a ton so that's going to be it Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like on this video as usual and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. And as usual, peace out.